Good morning guys, I am in Bali right now and I can't believe how long I've waited to say those exact words. So I'm here with my family, we've uh, arrived here yesterday evening after like a whole night and morning of flight and we were pretty tired so we just checked into this beautiful Airbnb villa that we're staying in and we were just exploring around and basically stayed in because honestly after seeing the place we really didn't feel like going out anywhere. Um, I'll give you a tour and all the information details about it soon but uh, right now we're getting ready to head out for the day and we have some fun things planned in Bali. So we are on the way to Ubud, we're staying in Seminyak and it's about one and a half hours drive from there. We just stopped for a quick coffee break. So the drive from Ubud to Seminyak is mostly through the city but it's really beautiful. There are like sculptures and statues outside every house, there's temples on every street with beautiful architecture. So, so we're currently at the Batik factory where you can uh, buy plain t-shirts and get them customized in any design that you want and the artist here will paint it for you in pretty Balinese designs. We also have weaves and uh, yeah, a lot of good things to purchase here. The clothes I felt were slightly highly priced but I did buy a bag and few other trinkets that I felt were pretty affordable here. So we stopped for lunch at a restaurant called Kayun in Ubud. It's an organic restaurant where uh, they have their own garden, they grow their own food and everything is organically cooked right in front of your eyes. They have plenty of vegetarian options um, and a special Ayurvedic menu and some organic drinks menu. And these are the kind of places you will spot in plenty in Bali and even in Ubud. So, oops, too sunny. So it's a good place to stop for a quick healthy bite. And uh, yeah. So we just stopped here at a wood shop. They have some beautiful, amazing designs and the artist is just sitting right outside i think she went for a break now and making all of these sculptures some are religious some have uh, balinese cultural significance and some are just for decor but each piece is so intricately made with such amazing features yeah they look beautiful Good morning, this is day 2 in Bali. Um, I didn't end my vlog yesterday so we went to Ubud, we thought we'd try the Bali swing but by the time we got there it was pretty late and uh, they were really overcharging us for the entire package of the swing and lunch and they were about to close the swing and the bird's nest and all those photogenic scenic areas in about half an hour. So we really didn't see a point of spending so much money and then just rushing and getting out in a few minutes. So we thought we'll do it another day. But today is day two and we have some other things planned. So we are here at Ubud Palace. The temple is closed. We're not allowed to enter. But the palace grounds itself are so stunning and so pretty. I think those are the only two words I'd be using throughout Ubud because every sculpture, all the detailing, just look at that behind me. It's so beautiful. Thing of a good We're just done with Ubud Palace and now we're going to head to the market and do some shopping.
you. You're welcome. Day three in Bali. Time flies when you're having a good time. We're just getting ready, then heading to breakfast. And today we'll probably be covering South Bali, hitting up some of the beaches, water sports, and the likes.